you need to look back on it. All right. All right. So starting a recording on Photoshop animation. So let's first get the brush that you want. Um, All right. Have you played around with like special brushes in uh, Adobe Photoshop before? No, I haven't. So one thing you could do is actually just find a brush online of one that you like. But right now, let's just use the presets that we have. So if you click and drag there, go to your brush tool, um, B, yeah. And then in the top left, there's that little brush icon. Uh, and then you could be able to, OK, uh, is that giving you any options? Click on the folder to the right, sorry, and see if there's a a brush library that we can see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now there's a here's a bunch of different options for ones. Um, I'm wondering if click on yeah that one. Uh, not quite. So there's different types of brushes, and I'm wondering if we can find scatter brush because that's what oh. I think what you're looking for. These ones are kind of. Are those similar or like close to where you're going for? Oh uh, yeah, they're, yeah, like this one's pretty much, I you guess. See, you see on the left, um, there's that scattering uh, on the... tab, a little further up. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, click on that and then maybe you'll get some more, okay. Okay. Yeah, so now you can play around, if you wanna make it more like off kilter, you can kind of play around with the settings of whatever. Okay. Um, you know, but let's just use this for now. And then I think later on, you can even just find a brush online that you like. Um, and that might be better. All right. So you have that now let's, um, let's just draw something in Photoshop. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. This seems like pretty much what I was going for. That's what you're going for. Yeah. Okay. So let's just animate stuff with this brush. Um, so yeah, let, let's just like animate like a line of stars that grow. So we can like do a little yeah. bit of a line or something. All right, so let's say that's frame one. Uh, right. Now let's go to the bottom right of the layers tab. Um, of the layers? The bottom, actually, all the way to the bottom right. Uh, yeah. Click on that. So now we have a new layer. Let's just like basically draw that over and like and continue it. Okay. So like. Yeah. And then, yeah. Wait. Okay. And then do I add another one? Yeah. Add another one. And then you can just keep going. You can make it go like, I don't know. I, I don't know where you're going, but you, you can, you can make it go anywhere. Really. Okay, and so this is like how I'm going to be animating. Yeah, and like if you want to like essentially onion skin it, I'll let you draw one more line and we can see what onion skinning looks like. Okay. If you want to onion skin it, you can um, click and select all of those layers. Uh, and then um, the opacity. Um, okay, so this is a shortcut you just have to remember. Um, okay. If you see, the, as in Victor, and then press five, for example. Okay. Does that do anything? We click on the layers and see if that changed the opacity. What was it? B five. V and then five. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now what that does is it changed the opacity of everything to fifty percent. So now you can kind of see all the layers, uh, one on top of the other. Okay. Okay. You already could see that. Um, because everything was transparent, but in case you wanted to, then that works. All right. And if like, so could I just click on like one individual layer and then do V5 and it only make that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And I would set it to 50% opacity. And if you want to reset everything to a hundred, you can just say V zero. Um, okay. And so, um, now let me just show you how to um, now animate this to see how it looks. Sure. Um, the last thing we're going to need though is just a background layer. So let's just uh, create one background layer and make it um, like a white background. And uh, bring it to the bottom. Yeah. You 
can um yeah uh how do i make it a white background yeah um okay so you're gonna hit d as in dog and then so right now when you hit d it defaults to um black foreground meaning black is on top white background mm. and you hit control backspace that's going to fill that layer with white so, oh, okay okay yeah um you can't really see it because it was, it was already white there but uh, you can see it on the layer there all and right name it background layer so we don't get confused by what it is you can uh, double click it too but Cool. So now um, what you're going to do is we're going to do the same animation process that we did with the animated GIF way back in the fall, really. So okay. let's enable the timeline by going to window timeline. All the way down. Yeah. OK. Hit um, create video timeline down at the bottom. And then in the bottom left there, there's like three squares, bottom left of that window. Um, keep going more to the left. There you go. All right, so now we're in frame by frame animation mode. So right now we're in frame one. Um, I would just enable only the frames you wanna see in frame one, which in this case is just background layer and then layer zero. Now, um, let's, there's a plus sign at the bottom of the timeline window. Um, yeah, there, you can click that. So now we're in frame two, and I would just enable everything you want in frame two. And okay. you, you, I, I don't know if you want like the other layers underneath it to show, but if you wanted to hide layer zero, you could do that, yeah. Okay. And then repeat. Um, and so uh, okay, okay, so. And then I do like that. Mm -hmm. okay. And then layer three. Okay, and that's that's all the layers you have. Yeah. So right now it's at um, each frame is holding for five seconds. But if you uh, select each of them, I would bring them down to like either 0.2 or 0.1. 0 0.2 is fine. Yeah. You can also like um, hold shift and like select all of them if you wanted to. Oh. Okay. All right. And so can I not like do the frames per second? Do I have to do it all like this? Yeah, for some reason, Photoshop um, won't. So right now at point two, that's basically five frames per second. Um, but if you wanted to bring it into animate, because that's something you want to you want to keep the frame rate consistent. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to bring it into animate, um, you can then export each of these frames individually. Um, oh, okay, okay. So one, I, I'll show you this now, and then once we're off the meeting, I can um, send you the recording of it, and you can uh, refer back to it. All right. But if you go to File, and then you go to uh, Export, Render Video, down second from the bottom. All right. Render video. And now, um, instead of Adobe Media Encoder, you're going to change it to say Photoshop Image Sequence. Right, there you go. Um, and so that's going to be it. Um, one thing I would change, I would change the document frame rate. Right now it's at 30 um, frames per second, which is going to give you more frames than you actually need. Because mm -hmm. each of your frames is at 0.2, we can do, we can say like 4.99 frames per second. All right. Yeah. And select the folder. So just put the folder somewhere. Or yeah, select the folder where it's going to be somewhere that um, oh, yeah. you can find it. Yeah, that's fine. And then hit render. Uh, I would just so, keep the highest quality. Um, all right. And open it up in your file explorer, go to your desktop, see if you have, you should have four um, frames. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, I can't see it, but you, you have four? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, all right, then that's it. Then you can bring those, put them into animate, and then for that sequence, you'll just have it go image by image. All right. And and how do I import those into animate? Um, like, or is it the same as the videos with the rotoscoping? How you import it? I think it, it's going to be simpler, actually. It's just going to be import to stage. Um, All right. I want to do that together right now just to check and make sure. Yeah, sure. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. I don't have anime open. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can open it. And then... All right, so file uh, import, import to stage. To stage. Yeah. And let's find that first one. Uh, oh, that's weird. I think okay. it imported all of them into one frame. Yeah. Okay. So then let's actually go back. Um, Control Z. Let's just undo that because I think a cleaner way to do it. I would go File again. Um, instead of to Stage, say Import to Library. There you go. So it's not going directly on your stage, but you have it on the right there. So for frame one, let's drag and drop the untitled 10,000.jpg. Uh, okay. Make sure that frame one is selected though. You're gonna have to bring your playhead back. Yeah, there you go. And you can bring it to the stage now. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. And then, um, yeah, I think that's a shortcut too, the like, um, Resize it to the frame. Uh, actually, I don't want to mess with that. And then, so I just have to do that with all of these. Yeah, and then I'll go to the next one and then import. Um, yeah, drag and drop that one. Next one. What, can you try that one more time? Like the right click and say transform. I think there might be a shortcut. Can you go above um, on the top right of your stage window? There's a little like a crosshair uh, further to the left. Right here. Center stage, no. And then how about two to the right of that? Click content outside the stage. Click on that uh, image and then see if that thing, if that button does anything. Yeah, click on that. And then see if that click content outside the stage does anything. Uh, just oh, it just it. it just crops it. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, uh, all right. Um, well, another thing you could also do is you can just change the dimensions of the stage to fit, um, or just make sure that when you're animating it, your other animations at twelve eighty by seven twenty. I think. Uh, yeah, it is. Then just make sure that in Photoshop, when you're drawing, just make your your um, artboard 1280 by 720. All right. So you won't have right. to do Okay, that was a lot, but um, did that make sense enough that like if you revisit it, you'll be okay? Yeah, that helped a lot. Thank you. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to chat with Roman next, so you can uh, let him know. All right, thank you. Thanks, Davian.